CAFTA, for Sterling, example, Sterling, was a free trade treaty that didn't liberalize sugar. But Sterling, so, let me just interrupt you things... here because I want to make a point which I'm sure lots of people watching on BBC World News will be thinking. If an American taxpayer puts in his or her money towards restarting the U.S. economy, isn't it at least understandable that that money should partly go to U.S. companies which will in turn employ U.S. people? Doesn't that make sense? The United States is involved in more protection spending in the Defense Department than in the stimulus bill. Nobody questions the United States protectionism in the Defense Department, and yet they're looking at the stimulus bill. If you want to look at the size of American protectionism in government spending, look at aircraft carriers, look at the F-35 fighter, look at the war in Iraq, look at the war in Afghanistan. That's more protectionist spending than is in, in either of the two and stimulus programs being proposed. And Sterling, I can see you listening intently to Sterling. What would you say to him? Well, well, uh, well I, I, I don't agree with everything that he said, but I think the general um, idea that there is a lot of, there's no such thing as free trade, there's a lot of protectionism is right. I want to come back to what you said about, you know, whether or not um, you ought to spend to save your own economy and benefit your own economy. I think obviously that is, um, it's a rationale that mm -hmm. many would accept, but in this kind of recession that we are in globally, this whole idea of bringing the forum together is to have international cooperation so that every country spending can benefit mm -hmm. some others. And, and this kind of multiplier effect, the IMF uh, projects, will actually increase the boost of the spending by something like a third. And so if we begin to view this as a global problem, then actually I think the, you start to be less protectionist and think, if I spend on this, another country spending around the same time will also help my country. Let me read one more email here from Prajwal uh, from Nepal, whose email world have you say at bbc.com. Whatever the G20 decides for my country, it will be like looking at the stars and hoping to get some light to read a newspaper at night. It won't benefit us. I mean, Asanda, do you recognize that sentiment? Do some South Africans just feel this isn't about me, even though your president's going to be there? Definitely. I think right now the youth within South Africa don't really understand the impact that the global financial crisis will have upon them. At the moment, you know, we, we, can't, we have this feeling of, well, we have been largely buffered from this um, uh, financial crisis because of instruments that our government has put in place. However, we are noticing that our spending patterns are much less than they were before. Mm -hmm. We are thinking more cautiously about, about how we buy and what we do. So I think that, you know, amongst young people, they are affected by it. However, there, there isn't much trust of how just, much we Just get sitting out next to you, I can see Diego nodding his head. Let's get one <laughs> last word from Fiona. Fiona censors this text. Bailing out the corporations is akin to salvaging a boat and allowing the passengers to drown. The G20 should focus on people. Fiona, thank you very much indeed. Tony, just before you go, I was going to bring in Tony, but we understand we can hear Angela Merkel, so let's drop in on that right away. With the Chancellor, we've just been talking. In other words, what is the purpose, what is the main objective of the summit? Now, I know perfectly that some don't want to talk about uh, impetus and stimulus. We do, and that's exactly what we're doing. But regulation is not simply a word, an empty word. It is a major objective. The first television chain. Chancellor, uh, Mr. President, you actually uh, gave us objectives here that seem to be um, very definitive um, and very final goals. Uh, when you're talking about uh, fiscal stimulus uh, packages, uh, Madam Chancellor, that is where you see limits, don't you? And uh, the French President, uh, will you actually, unless you uh, stay until the end of the summit, even if you're um, the aims are not um, realized. Well, says the Chancellor, I don't think that we're engaging here in any barter trade. As those 20 countries that are united in the name of G20, I think what needs to uh, be developed is a common understanding.